All right, this looks amazing. I mean, this fresh fish. Oh my gosh, they've it got does. Like, Asian. Oh it, my god, well, I don't Margie, know. It looks amazing. Yeah. I agree. I agree. It looks amazing. And you think you can do this? Yes. You know that he's actually trained for something like this. He trained with Todd English. It sounds, he worked for Katsuya. It sounds fantastic, but see a Pino, Rosado, I can do these things. I can do this. I can do this cooking thing. I can do this. Uh, Chef's right behind me, isn't he? Uh-huh. Hey, Chef! Come Hi. On. Can, come on in, Chef. Come on oh, in. Wow, look at that. Wow. What are we what are we looking at here? This is one of our popular dishes. It's our Arctic char. It has a little bit of sake soy, has a little salad with some fresh herbs and arugula from our garden and some little uh, peewee potato chips. I wow. heard the her magic word. I can do sake. I can do sake. Oh no. Have you ever had Arctic char? Well, why don't you taste it? <laughs> All right. I, I'm I'm about to. I'm about, I'm about to taste it. He is he's allowing me to taste this. Mm. All right. Is Chef, this looks amazing. It really does. Look at that skin. Crispy. Oh yeah. That's, Wonderful, wonderful. Oh my gosh. Chef? That's amazing. I can cook this. Think you're up for the challenge? I'm up for the challenge. We well, ready? Let's go do it. Margie, I'll be back. Mm -hmm. You don't have a chance. Chef, who's this guy here? This is my right hand man, Gordy. Gordy, how you doing, Jeff? How are you? Nice Hi, to Jeff. meet you. He's gonna All take right. care of anything you need and he's gonna make sure you don't burn down the kitchen. You and I are going to get to know each other. Right. Chef, what are we working with here? So this is our setup for our Arctic char. These are all the ingredients you're going to need. You know, some salt, pepper, the sake soy, or char, of course. You know, some peppers. Hold on, chef, some... chef, chef, chef. I know time. That is not time. Arugula, shallots. You've got paper here. Where are the rest of the ingredients? So those are ingredients you're going to have to pick yourself. Where are they at? Well, we got a garden here on property, so... You have uh, a garden here? That's right, we do. <laughs> Let's go check Let's it go. out. This is for real. You have a garden here on site. This is crazy. I can't believe this. Uh, where do we start? Let's start right here with our uh, shallots. Uh, we grow a lot of things in. I was going to say, that's shallots, right? Yes, it is. I'll take that. All right, so how do I pick ingredients from something like this? Because I've never actually picked anything that I need to cook. So for the shallots, you just want to pick by the closest to the ground as you can. Here's okay? Up. Yep. Okay. And then. Oh. <laughs> maybe maybe by the, the very stem, by the meatiest part. By the meatiest part, like like down here. Yeah. Really, just pull it up. Pull it up. Okay. Well, it's not my first time. I mean, I've done this before. That and just put it in the bowl. Sure, go ahead. We'll rinse it off and we'll clean it up when we get to the uh, kitchen. Right, where do we go next? I know we have Let's multiple ingredients. Let's go to our herb, uh, herb garden here. Okay. We got a lot of fresh herbs that we grow on property. We try to grow as much as we can uh, as we can in our dishes. Okay. So we have some uh, fresh spearmint and some fresh thyme. So if you just want to pick up a couple of leaves of the spearmint, you can okay. put it in your bowl. All right, perfect. So how many leaves do I need to grab like here? Six or so leaves or one big sprig. Six or six or so or one big sprig. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and. All right. Perfect. I've got my spearmint. Perfect. All right. Where do we go next? Let's get a little bit of time. You know, time's always great. I got dishes. plenty of time. <laughs> I got plenty of time. We have plenty of time for this. Okay. How much time do I need? Maybe a couple sprigs as well. Okay. There we go. So we got time. Finally got time in my hands. <laughs> and finally, we'll get some of our arugula. Here we have a lot of our lettuces that we like to grow in house. What's it take to keep all of this going throughout the year? Uh, there's a lot of love and care into these gardens, but we like to grow things that are seasonal. So things that you know kind of grow in the winter or in the summer will go to more tomatoes and peppers and things like that. So we like to keep within the season and try to grow as much as we can. Obviously, you know, we're a large property and we can't, or a large restaurant, we can't grow everything we need, but we like to grow as much as we can. It's, I mean, it's impressive. There's not many restaurants out there where you can actually go out to the backyard and pick what you're about to eat, especially with what you guys have out here. It's, no, it's, no, I'm, it's a, I'm truly impressed. It's a great luxury we have here. All right, so I think I have some of the ingredients I need. I yep. think it's time to go back to the kitchen. I'm going to show you that I can cook. Let's do it. Let's do it. Gordy, I've got my ingredients. We're good to go. That's what I call really, really fresh. I just picked it. You're right, it is. All right, Chef, you know what? I think I'm ready to go. I've got my ingredients. I've got this. Oh, right, well, I'll be out there with Margie. Good luck. All right, perfect. This is good. I have no idea what I'm doing. How long have you been a, uh, a sous chef, Gordy? This is my fifth year. Fifth here. year? You've yeah. been here for a, year, a yeah. long time. Yeah, I love it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and make my salad because I know we've got the uh, salad. Would you chop the salad? Probably not. Let's go ahead and put that there. Let's go ahead and uh, so. So this restaurant is pretty, um, 
pretty awesome to be able to work here, huh? Yeah, it's really nice, especially the garden. Yeah? Yeah, the garden All is. of this is fresh. I mean, it's, it's just right out of the garden. Wow. Nice. You don't get fresher than that. No, I know. So, I mean, I've got to be honest. I didn't, I, I didn't tell the chef I'm not a professional cook. I'm not a chef. Mm -hmm. And this is what it is. So you and I, we're going to make this dish together, right? Mm, I think you're going to make it more so. But I'm here for you. All right. First of all, thank you so much for sitting down with me. It's kind of an honor to meet you and spend some time with you here. So um, I want to just ask you a little bit, looking over this menu, I mean, you really have a wide range of what you're offering from fish and seafood, but I see Asian inspiration and a little Mediterranean on sure, the sure. background. So. Yeah, I have a very uh, diverse background when uh, growing up and, you know, my culinary adventures. And, you know, that's what we like to do in the menu, have a very eclectic uh, collection of items. So when guests come in, they can have a, a great meal and then come back another night and have a totally different meal, you know? So I'm just about ready here with the uh, with the salad. And you, you've tried the dish. They're pretty impressive, right? Really impressive, yes, absolutely. I guarantee you, when you have this, you're gonna wanna come to my restaurant every single night. Really? Every single night. Okay. Every single night. You know, what I like to do is I like to use what, you know, what, what do we have, you know, whether it's stuff we grow in our garden or stuff we get locally. It's, it's always fun to take things that, that are near, nearest to us and create a dish as opposed to, you know, trying to come up with something, you know, very different. We like to make with what we have and, and by doing that we can show people that they can go locally, you know, seafood or produce and create things just from their backyards almost. Here's some of the ingredients. Um, is this the salad dressing? Is this the salad dressing or is this the salad dressing? If you were gonna choose one of these, which one would it be? I'm going to say maybe one, two, or three. <laughs> such, a, such a character. You guys actually literally have a farm, that is like a little pl place of land you can go get some herbs and, and re literally do the farm to table. A lot of people say they do it, but you guys, are, it's like out your back door. Yeah, it's, right. it's great. We have a great garden. We, have, we grow herbs all year round, which grow great in San Diego. Um, and then we kind of grow some lettuces, some beets, you know, whatever's kind of seasonal at the time, you know, to kind of, you know, spruce some things up and make a great, you know, menu. So my next step, what would my, my next step be? Because it says herb salad, I've got the herb salad. The potato chip, I've got the potato chips right here. I've... Pan. You've got to cook the art of char. Yes, you and I are going to get along just perfectly. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in here. Maybe throw a little oil in here. And I'm going to go ahead and toss it right there. You really can see and taste the difference from something that's grown locally and fresh as opposed to something that's grown elsewhere and then you know brought in. Yeah. Alright, I'm alright. Okay. Whoa! Chef! I got it! I got it! You see, you're, you're staying so calm, Chef, and I almost called the fire department. Chef, I'm gonna go ahead and turn something down here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn something. Okay, we're working together here. We are working together! Alright. How's this looking, Chef? I know, you want to try it so bad, try it so bad. This is stressful, how do you guys work back here? This is stressful. How do you know when Arctic char is done? How is Jeff doing back there and does he have any chance? Is this even gonna be cooked? <laughs> well, he, he did a good job uh, in the garden, so okay. you know, hopefully he'll do a good job in the kitchen, so okay. we'll see what happens. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm anxiously waiting to see what comes <laughs> out. This should be interesting. It looks fantastic, I'm gonna turn that off so presentation is everything. How, how do I present that? Well, you essentially eat with your eyes first. You eat, you're right, you're right. So uh, I'm gonna make this, I don't have anything else here. Okay, what if I, what if I put a little bit of, uh, to me, that is, to me, that is a dish. I'd pay 20, 30, 40 bucks for it. Would you? I'm going to not say. Um, We're going to ask the much. chef. Bon appetit. Ah, 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 ah. Let me present to you the Arctic char with herb salad and yuzu. Chef. Beautiful. Looks nice. From Chef Alakar Jeff. <laughs> How do you do, Gordy? Uh, he did okay, chef. He did all right.
He's being very modest. I did fantastic. <laughs> Chef, I got to step out. Uh, I have some other things. Great. Gordy, thank, thank you very thank much. You. Thank Thanks. you very much. See you again. Very, very much for, not very much. All right, Chef, how do you good. think I did? It's good. Uh, it's a, that's a big piece of uh, you know, pepper you got there. It might be a little, little spicy for. Uh, I know. I added a little bit of my own flair. I like it. I like it. You can take a little bit if you'd like. Sure, sure. Should I just try it? Margie, I'd love for you to try it. All right. How do you think I did? Well, cooked it very well. Okay. Maybe a little over, but it's still good. All right. Yeah. Little, yeah. What, what I try to go for is a little bit of color, because to me, color is everything. And what I found out, what I know, is you eat with your eyes first. That's what I realized. And to me, yeah. if I'm going to eat something that is beautiful, it's going to taste beautiful. And it does. It does. It does look great. You did, you did a fantastic job. And I, I like that we, you used a lot of the uh, things you picked in the garden today. That's great as well. I hear you're going to be a gardener now, yeah? I'm going to have my own garden. Oh, nice. Yes, it's yes. Good. I think it's pretty good. A little I'm bit of actually, sarcasm in there, I think. No, I'm actually very impressed. This is, this is good for someone who really doesn't, you don't, you don't cook all the time, you know, compared well, to a professional. Well, I guess the ultimate challenge is to find out what exactly you did and what I did, and we're going to see what I did right, what I did wrong, and we'll go from there. Got it. All right. This is our Arctic char. It's a very uh, underused fish. It has a very light flavor. It uh, has a look and uh, texture of kind of like a salmon. Uh, but it's a great fish and it's great for uh, uh, searing or grilling or any type of application you would like. So we're going to take our fish and season it. Put a little bit of canola oil in a pan. The pan's nice and hot. We're going to put the uh, fish skin side first into the pan. And let that cook for a little bit. Uh, we put this uh, fish down skin side first because we want to get it nice and crispy, get it some nice color, and it creates a great uh, texture for the fish. So we only leave it for about uh, a minute on one side, then we can light, quickly flip it. See, it kind of has some nice color, has some nice texture. And that's when that side we add a little sake soy. Uh, this kind of creates a little flavor, it gives it a little more character in the fish, and it uh, you know creates a little flame, so it's kind of fun. And so now we're going to remove it from the flame. And while that rests, we're going to set up our salad. So our salad is very simple. We have arugula from our garden. We have some fresh herbs. Uh, we like to use some Thai basil, some cilantro, some mint, uh, some regular basil. We're going to season it again with a little bit of kosher salt, a little crushed black pepper. And then uh, for color and texture, we add some uh, fresh red onion, some red bell pepper, and for a little spice, we do some uh, Julian Serrano peppers. We have a little uh, dressing of uh, yuzu vinaigrette. Yuzu is a Japanese citrus. Has a little uh, lemon and a little salt and pepper. Just drizzle it lightly. Toss it up. And this creates a nice kind of balance. It's a kind of nice, fresh, uh, aromatic, little, little uh, uh, tart salad for our fish. And we put a nice bed of the salad on the side. And then we take our fish. We put our fish lightly on top. And we garnish it with some fresh uh, potato chips. Gives it a little extra little crunch and a little color. So Jeff, did you have fun? How do you think you did? I did. I had fun. But you know what? The dish was a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be. Shocker. But next time, Margie, next time I'm going to nail it. I'm sure you will. See you next time on Jeff vs. Chef. Hey, I was wondering if you can tell me... Hey! Hey, the entire time you... And then when I was doing the... Gotcha. Pretty clever. Thank Pretty you. clever. Thank you.